Touring in the U.S. different from touring Europe? Um, oh, they don't make you... We were talking about that. What? Yeah. They don't make you food in the United States. No. Like, it, like you go to a club in Europe and there's like somebody stirring a pot and putting beans and rice on a plate for you and asking you whether you're a vegetarian or a meat eater. Right. And they, they feed you a big, big meal like right before you play and then you drink some wine and you're really tired. Then you put on your beret and your striped shirt and you put the little monkey on your shoulder and go out onto the corner and, and some dance, guy come, dance yeah, for change. Totally. And they, you do an interview and, and they say, why are you not relevant anymore? <laughs> yes, they say, <laughs> uh, how do you respond to electronic music has killed rock? Now that electronic music has effectively destroyed your music, why do you continue? I can't ignore, I can't exist 
advice a band do to keep sane on the road? Um. Uh. I don't know if I keep sane on the road, to be honest. Because I get yeah, home and then I, I, I get right. totally insane. I don't. So, like, actually being at home, I have a harder time being sane when I'm home than I do. Yeah, it's kind of pointless to be, to keep Same. staying on the road because then you'd just be bored all the time. Exactly. That's totally it. Like, so. it's actually better to promote, like, the more insane parts of your personality when you're on tour because it makes you more interesting for the people who have to hang out with you every single day. Mm -hmm. And then also, it also just, like, you tap into other, you know, crazy parts of your mind, you know, you get to be, I'm, I've actually, I've become a much more social person being on tour. Me too, if you, you can know. believe that. No, I've, I've emerged from my shell, I would say. At least, you know, I do have, my foot's definitely caught still, but I'm squirming. I've got to sing something 